Mike, sorry, I'm back here. At times the last couple weeks you've talked about needing more leadership from your seniors, from your captains, et cetera. What does the team learn about itself when you get those kinds of performances from Trey, from Anthony, you know, especially kind of those crunch moments? Well, it means a lot. That's how it should be. You know, I mean, I, you know, think back to when I played, you know, the coach always put it on the, the senior guys to, to lead and, and do the things that help us win and hold other guys accountable. And I thought tonight Gallo was huge. I mean, the second half, our defense was solid. The second half, you hold this team to 31 points. Uh, that's, that was the difference in getting back into the ball game. But Gallo coming down the stretch, Anthony making the big three, you know, was huge. And then getting this, the uh, stop that we got when he stole the ball. So it was big time. Jeff and Mike. Coach, Anthony Leo's big three there at the end to put you guys ahead. Uh, what was the play call? What, what, what did you want to get? Was that exactly what you wanted to get? And just, what was your confidence level at Leo to say, hey, son, it's your time to hit the shot? Well, confidence level is he's on the floor, you know, playing him during crunch time. It doesn't matter who makes the shot. You know, he had a wide open shot. He took it and he, he delivered for us. And, that's what basketball is all about. You, know, you try to put people in position and they're able to come through, then you live with it. If they don't come through, you live with that and hope the next time you're in that position that it, they do come through. Is that the shot you wanted out of that play? No. It's the shot we got. It counts. So that's all that matters. Mike, then Todd. Yeah, you said about the senior, but Trey in particular, Jeff Galloway, did he speak at halftime to Laura? Was that something he just came out picking no, up? No, I mean. Extra focus? I mean, what was it? The difference? No, he's, listen, our seniors can't hide. I mean, it's what it is. They, they're out there to, to try to make a difference. You know, we need a good perimeter play. Our, our front line has been solid pretty much all, all season for us. And we've had our struggles out front. And, um, you know, I thought Gallo was huge tonight. He stepped up, he wanted the ball, we put him in a lot of situations where he could have the ball in his hand and run pick and rolls and make plays, and, and he delivered. Todd, then Jack. Mike, uh, <coughs> excuse me, over to your right. Um, what do you think changed to the second half defensively than anything for you guys? Well, again, I mean, we, we was kind of all over the place. I mean, they, they weren't running away the first half, but it was just the, the fouling and the points that we gave them, the easy buckets that we gifted them. And, you know, you got to give them credit, man. They, they're a proud basketball team trying to figure it out, too. And But the second half, when we started to cut the lead, our defense got even even tougher, you know, at that particular time. And, and we were rebounding the ball. That was the big emphasis coming in. At our place, they wasn't even close on the, on the rebounds. And, we knew we had to come in and, and, and try to win the rebounding game, and we did, and gave ourselves a chance to win, and we ended up winning. Jack and Seth. Yeah, Mike, just how far have you seen Trey come, and, and really this year and even last year, kind of just in his ability to, to run the offense, run the point when, when X is out, and just how much has he grown kind of in that role? Well, I mean, I thought last year he, he shot the ball better from the three-point line, and, you know, he, he had the opportunity, the latitude to to have the ball in his hands some, but Jalen had it in his hands as well. And, you know, I don't know when X is going to be back. You know, he's, he's doubtful. And so it's, it's going to put a lot of pressure on Gallo and Gabe and Anthony and CJ guys that are coming in the game to handle the ball and make basketball plays with it. Seth and Mason. Coach, uh, Malik had the technical foul early in the second half, and, you know, you could see he was pretty – uh, visibly frustrated on the court and you know it seemed like he almost got better from there just how did you kind of channel that you know obviously he cares just how did you kind of channel that into the right kind of energy well it was tough I you know I the call I thought it was goaltending and maybe it wasn't and he thought it was too and emotionally he kind of lost it which you know you can't do that and uh, but he didn't stop playing you know he had to move move on to the next play and I thought he did that and that whole group, man, it was just solid, you know, bringing it home tonight. Mason and Adam. Coach, along those same lines regarding the emotion, when you guys are trying to claw back from a hole like that and you can kind of sense your momentum, do you have to keep your guys under control or is that something you trust the players to do? No, I mean, it, 
everybody you know that were out that was playing out there tonight, they knew what was at stake, man. I mean, we've been struggling. I mean, and this was a game, you know, where we we knew we had to come in there and play well because they didn't forget what happened at our place. So, and I thought they played extremely well the first half and held a comfortable lead, but. It was our defense and rebounding and making good offensive decisions coming down the stretch that allowed us to come out of here with the win. Adam, then we'll wrap with Mike. Like you were down 65-53 with about seven and a half to go, and then it had been 18. You cut back a little bit. They push push back again. 10-0 run at that point. What does it take for a team to be able to do that in a, in a, on the road? You know, when you've been behind, what, what enables a team to, to flip a game in a moment? Just stay focused. We've had some runs at home early in the season where we were down and have made some big, big runs to, to end up catching up and winning the game. But you don't like being in the, those positions very often. Then, uh, but the focus was there. You know, I mean, we just we didn't quit and we just kept fighting and fighting until we finally made things bounce our way and, and the results was a win. Last question, Mike. Yeah, could you just clarify that up, up to St. Xavier Johnson's doubtful? He may still rest the regular season in terms of his availability. He's just doubtful right now. I don't know how long, really. I don't. Okay. Thanks, Coach.